Free T3 thyroid hormone. It's very important. Let's talk about why. Endocrine society guidelines say check TSH levels. This is how you diagnose and you treat and you monitor patients with hypothyroidism. However, there's been tons of articles published on the fact that intracellular and free T3 levels do not always correlate with TSH levels. And that free T3 levels are what actually make people feel better and make your thyroid hormone work. So when you make thyroid hormone, TSH is a signal that's sent from your brain to your thyroid to tell your thyroid, please make thyroid hormone. Our thyroid makes mostly free T4. That free T4 is then converted to free T3 in our bloodstream by something called theiodinases. The free T3 is what's actually important in the active thyroid hormone that makes you feel better. When you treat hypothyroidism, most providers are taught to give patients T4 containing compounds. What is a T4 containing compound? It's levothyroxine, it's unithyroid, it's synthroid, tyrosine. We're taught that because the Endocrine Society guidelines say that's what you should use. They say don't use desiccated thyroid hormone. What is desiccated thyroid hormone? It's NP, it's Armour, Nature. It's all of these medications that have more T3 than T4. So why do the guidelines say this? Well, the guidelines say this because they don't believe that free T3 levels actually matter. However, there are tons of studies that show they do. So hypothyroid patients, if you blind them and you give them a T4 containing medication, and then you switch them over to a T3 containing medication, and vice versa, you give them a T3 containing medication and then switch them to a T4. 78% of those people are gonna tell you they feel better on the T3 containing medication, not knowing what they're taking. So that in itself will tell you that those guidelines and recommendations are probably a little off. So T3 is important and it does matter. If you like this information, make sure that you follow, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and just know a course is coming and so is my podcast shortly, but make sure you're following so that you can get all this information, which is very important about your thyroid and your thyroid health and may help you realize why you don't feel as good as you think you should if you have thyroid disease.